Okay, and welcome to the Advanced Blender Game Engine uh, tutorials. Uh, this tutorial we are going to cover, uh, I think the only thing we're going to have time for is how to make a health bar. Okay, it's kind of complicated, not so much, uh, but I want to go over it in detail because this is a really cool effect that will bring a lot of life to your game. Okay, so if uh, you still have the, hopefully you still have the uh, scene from last time, the one file from last time, go ahead and open that up and uh, go into the HUD. Alright, now that we're in the HUD uh, scene, I want you to add, uh, you can really add whatever you want. Um, uh, I, I like to do uh, 3D objects when I do my health bars, uh, so I'm going to use a cylinder, okay? Uh, I'm going to size that down a little bit here, and rotate it. I like to use 3D objects just because it, it looks cooler when you're, when you're doing it. Uh, I'm sure you can imagine. Okay. I got my uh, 3D health bar there, right? And uh, you can design it however you like. Uh, I'm going to do a fairly simple one here. Um, just make mine green, like a toxic green. All right. And uh, now that we get that all made up, uh, you can add whatever backgrounds, whatever you want. So I don't care. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is add a property or a correction. Uh, we're going to go to scene 100. Or I'm sorry, frame 100, and location, rotation, scale. Okay. Now uh, the next thing I want you to do is uh, we're going to size this down to the base here. Okay, but you have to size it down there. You can't. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this real quick for you. Uh, So what you're going to do is place the uh, center of gravity down here, and uh, once you do that, you'll be able to size this down, no problem. Is that right? Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so once you get that, uh, go to frame one, because remember you have to set your frame first, just like anything else we do, and size that all the way down to zero or what you believe to be a zero and hit scale and if you move forward in the frames you'll see that our health bar comes back up just like that okay now go back into the logic tab and add a property and name it health it's got to be an integer as well int and once you have that set label it a hundred and then uh, add a sensor controller and actuator and leave the sensor as always. The controller is going to stay as AND. And you're going to put in their IPO. And it's going to be a play property. Property's name is going to be health. And there you go. All right, so it's always going to play that property. Next, uh, just for our demonstration here, we're going to make the uh, sensor is going to be keyboard. Add a controller and an actuator and it's going to be actuator is going to be property add property health minus 20 and connect that all up and if we hit play it works subtracts the health down now uh, you can also go farther and say okay well when property health equals zero I want to restart the scene So go in there and add a actuator for scene and put restart. And uh, that just gives you an idea of how you can use this. The scene restarts. Uh, what you also need to add in that I left out is uh, when you're in your HUD, um, you need to uh, not only set scene, uh, set set scene and then scene instead of restart uh, you also need to scene uh, remove scene and then the name of your scene and then you'll see the effect that that gives you here when it's done is walking around collect your orbs life goes down and it restarts if you don't do the uh, remove scene uh, it will continue to overlay the same scene and you will have two or three games at once going on so you want to make sure that you put that in there. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to throw in for the uh, 
heads up display for now. Uh, I'll cover some more special effects later in uh, later tutorials. All right, thank you.